1926, British wizard and magizoologist Newt Scamander arrives by ship to New York en route to Arizona. He encounters Mary Lou Barebone, a non-magical woman, or nomad for short, who heads the New Salem Philanthropic Society. As Newt listens to her speech about how witches and wizards are real and dangerous, a Niffler escapes from Newt's magically expanded suitcase, which houses various magical creatures. As Newt attempts to capture the Niffler, he meets nomad cannery worker and aspiring baker, Jacob Kowalski, and they unwittingly swap suitcases. Demoted Aurora, Tina Goldstein arrests Newt for the chaos caused by the Niffler and takes him to the Magical Congress of the United States of America headquarters, hoping to regain her former position. However, as Jacob's suitcase contains only baked goods, Newt is released. At Jacob's apartment, several creatures escape from Newt's suitcase. After Tina and Newt find Jacob and the suitcase, Tina takes them to her apartment and introduces them to Queenie, her sister. Jacob and Queenie are mutually attracted, though American wizards are forbidden to marry or even meet no mages. Newt takes Jacob inside his magically expanded suitcase, where Jacob encounters a contained Obscurus, a parasite that develops inside magically gifted children if they suppress their magical abilities. Newt extracted it from a young girl who died. Those afflicted rarely live past the age of 10. Newt persuades Jacob to help search for the missing creatures. After recapturing two of the three escaped beasts, Tina returns the suitcase to Makuza. Officials arrest them, believing one of Newt's beasts to be responsible for killing Senator Henry Shaw. Junior Director of Magical Security, Percival Graves, accuses Newt of conspiring with the infamous dark wizard, Gellert Grindelwald, and decides to destroy Newt's suitcase and erase Jacob's recent memories of magic. Newt and Tina are sentenced to immediate death in secret, but Queenie and Jacob rescue them and they escape after retrieving Newt's suitcase. Following a tip from Tina's old goblin informant, Narlac, the foursome find and recapture the last of the escaped creatures. Meanwhile, Graves approaches Mary Lou's adopted son Credence and offers to free him from his abusive mother. In exchange, Graves wants Credence to find an Obscurus, which he believes has caused the mysterious destructive incidents around the city. Credence finds a wand under his adopted sister Modesty's bed. Mary Lou assumes it is Credence's wand, but Modesty says it is hers. When Modesty is about to be punished, the Obscurus kills Mary Lou and her eldest daughter Chastity. Graves arrives, and after Credence leads him to Modesty, whom he assumes is the Obscurus's host, he dismisses Credence as being a squib and refuses to teach him magic. Credence reveals he is the real host, having lived longer than any other host due to the intensity of his magic. In a fit of rage, Credence transforms and attacks the city. Newt finds Credence hiding in a subway tunnel, but he is attacked by Graves. Tina, who knows Credence, arrives and attempts to calm him, while Graves tries to convince Credence to listen to him. As Credence begins to settle back into human form, Aurors arrive and apparently disintegrate him to protect the magical society. However, a tiny Obscurus fragment escapes. Graves admits to unleashing the Obscurus to expose the magical community to nomages and framing Newt for it, and angrily claims that Makuza protects the nomages more than themselves. As the president orders the Aurors to apprehend Graves, he attacks and begins to defeat all of them. After being subdued by one of Newt's beasts, he is revealed as Gellert Grindelwald in disguise and is taken into custody. Makuza fears their secret world has been exposed, but Newt releases his Thunderbird, Frank, to disperse a potion as rainfall over the city that erases all New Yorkers' recent memories as Makuza wizards repair the destruction. Queenie kisses Jacob goodbye as the rain erases her memories. Newt departs for Europe, but promises to return and visit Tina when his book is finished. He also anonymously leaves Jacob a case of silver alchemy eggshells to fund his bakery. His breads and pastries are subconsciously inspired by Newt's creatures, and Queenie visits him in his shop. 